In today's video, we're going to be talking with Danny Stokes of Mark 3D, and we're going to find out why engineers should have a 3D printer in the CNC machine shop. Danny, the first one, work holding and tooling. You know, how, how, why should you have a 3D printer? Well, basically, trying to lower your production costs internally, essentially. What you don't tend to want to do is take a milling machine out of production that's making things that you can sell and generate a revenue from to make the tooling to hold it. So why not let a 3D printer make something like the soft jaws, milling fixtures, lathe jaws, whatever it may be. Complexity is completely for free, so you can make a complete negative of your part, holding it nice and firmly, printing it overnight, nice and simple. Okay, just give us some examples. So here, typically that would be CNC machined out of soft jaws, out of aluminium. Yeah. In terms of costings, how, how are you going to be, how, how do you compare? Because obviously, like you say, you can't sell soft jaws. Exactly. So basically something of that kind of size and that kind of complexity, as I mentioned, complexity is free, but around £10. Depends on the forces involved. So a unique thing about our technology is we can reinforce with continuous fibres inside. So if it's a highly stressed part, we may reinforce with Kevlar, which adds to the cost slightly, but anywhere £10 to 15 at the max for these kind of size of... So when we look at aluminium, we've got to, we've got to machine it. Take the aluminium aside, you've actually got to machine it. You've got to take up valuable machining time to make us something you can't sell, essentially. Exactly, and the tooling, like the drill bits, the slot mills, whatever it may be, that are going to use in the production of that item in their own right. There's no tooling at all. Simply filament fed through a heated nozzle, extruded in the shape that you need it. And this one here, this is something we see a lot of, additive manufactured, 3D printed, uh, jaws for uh, a robot. Yes, so end effectors is a huge uh, market for us. Obviously, light weighting is key because we're removing the element of the weight at the end of the arm so inertia is less, so we can cycle slightly quicker. So efficiencies on production plants, uh, think of a car production line, can be massive. No reason that can't be on a chuck, is there? No, exactly. Turning is a big element for us. There's, uh, any kind of complexity that you want to put in the, the actual jaw that's going to be holding it, no problem at all. Just finally here, uh, cutting tools. This, how, how are these involved in 3D printing or additive? Slightly different end of the spectrum there. Everything we've been looking at here is plastics, polymers and composites. We're looking at some Gurin tools there which are made on the Metalex technology. So we're printing in a H13 tool steel, conformal um, coolant delivery, mirroring the aperture of the cutting edge. Um, there's a whole host of benefits they get into really, but uh, very high end at that. End For sure, spectrum. just on, we spoke at Gurren at length on these and you know, the, the cost is comparable to actually making the tool, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, it, it's cheaper, but it's the lead time. What we don't have to do is get a bespoke bit of tungsten carbide made production planet. We, we can have an end use tool at a customer within a week that's completely bespoke rather than eight to 12 weeks potentially. So just finally to conclude, you know, Mark 3D, Mark Forge, you would say every manufacturer, CNC machinist, should have a 3D printer somewhere in a facility to make jigs and fixtures. 100%, so much more cost effective, simpler. You don't need a skilled engineer to run them. Think of it like a mini milling machine just making your work holding. There we are, thanks Danny. And thank you for watching at home.